Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, while we eagerly await the release of a public usable stable iOS 10 jailbreak, I'm going to highlight an awesome application, really a service that I think a lot of you will find incredibly helpful, and that is a VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. We're going to get into exactly what it is in just a second, but let me tell you what we're going to be highlighting, how to watch region restricted content anywhere. So for those of you who are outside of the US and you simply cannot watch Netflix, utilizing today's tutorial, you will be able to use Netflix. But because I am in the US, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how we can watch the hit series Planet Earth 2 without being in the UK. As I'm sure the majority of you who have already tried to watch it and who aren't in the UK know, you definitely have to have an IP address that originates in the UK. And of course, your ISP or internet service provider is just going to give you a local one. That's where a VPN comes into play. Though just note that VPNs, again, their applications extend well beyond just watching region-restricted content. You'd actually be able to fully secure a public Wi-Fi or data connection and do things such as banking, knowing that you are doing so safely and securely. They also don't keep any data, or at least the good ones, like the one I'm going to highlight in today's video, NordVPN, so you can browse the web fully anonymously, meaning that no one will have any logs of your data in the best part is that even the servers or the sites that you're visiting will essentially register the IP address of the VPN as the one that's doing the connecting. And that's just because of the nature of how VPNs work. So now that's a great segue. Let's get into exactly what a VPN does and how it functions. First though, if you have yet to acquire a VPN application or subscription, definitely download NordVPN. It is linked in your cards right now as well as down below in the description. You guys are going to have to have one for the purpose of today's video. They're the absolute best, at least when connecting to an iOS device. It's so simple, so seamless, and again, they offer fantastic rates with a free seven day trial with unlimited access. So check it out, you have nothing to lose, you can at least test it out for a little bit. Again link down below in the description. Now a VPN is in essence a server that your device connects to, a remote server at a remote location. And the one we're highlighting in today's video is in the United Kingdom, but it really can be anywhere. Basically all you need to know is that a VPN is a server. Now that we have that down, what happens? Well, essentially your device utilizes your data connection, whatever it happens to be, whether you're over cellular, a public Wi-Fi network, or your home Wi-Fi network, it just uses whatever connection it has to establish a connection with the remote server. And once the devices are talking to one another, basically, then that connection is encrypted via SSL. So if anyone were trying to intercept the data, the browsing data that you're actually racking up on your device, the only thing that they'd be able to see is an encrypted version of it. The only things that can decrypt it are your device and the remote server. So basically a secure connection and then the IP address of your device is basically registered as that of the remote server, which is why this is going to work for watching Planet Earth 2 because it will come up with our IP address as being in the United Kingdom, even though I'm definitely in the US. See, once that connection is established, the remote server does all of the heavy lifting. So that's what's going to be doing the browsing data. It's going to be routed through that server and relayed back to your device via SSL. So guys, some pretty amazing stuff here. And like I said, the applications extend well beyond what I'm showing you today. So let's just get into it. We're going to launch up Safari and I'm going to show you guys that we just can't watch Planet Earth 2 and that it is in fact restricted to those with UK based IP addresses. So we're just going to tap on the jungles episode here, followed by watch now and you'll notice immediately that we do get locked out. So let's go ahead and tap on play one more time. And as you can see, you might receive a different message, but for me, it says this content is not currently available on this device. Please try again later. This of course is because we aren't in the UK. I'm actually just going to refresh one more time and show you guys that again, we get that message a second time. For whatever reason, it almost tried to bypass it there without us even being connected to a VPN, but of course it stopped us immediately. And when we refresh, we get this message, which is what I'm sure the majority of you have already seen if you've tried. Quote, BBC iPlayer only works in the UK. 
Well, let's go ahead and circumvent that now utilizing NordVPN. Now, what you have to do to start using NordVPN or any VPN service is actually configure the VPN inside of the settings app. But because this application is pretty cool, you can tap on quick connect and then you receive this little iOS prompt asking you if you'd like to allow NordVPN to automatically add the configuration. So we can go ahead and tap on allow. It brings us over to the settings application and then just asks us to verify. We can do that with our password or since we have touch ID, we just need to scan our fingerprint. And once it has bypassed that, Again, it moves back to NordVPN and now the connection has been established. So let's go ahead and press the home button. I'm going to show you guys inside of settings general VPN that again, it already created the connection. So let's go ahead and tap on the settings app and then just scroll down to VPN. And you can see we are currently connected to NordVPN. It's automatically configured it. Some pretty cool stuff. You don't even have to fiddle with it whatsoever. In the old days, if you used another service, you definitely would have had to have set that up, which sometimes can be a tedious pain. Now, we are currently connected to a US-based server. That won't work for the purpose of this video, so we're going to trick it into thinking that we are connected to the UK because remember the remote server does all of the heavy lifting and the browsing data is routed through said remote server. So we need to pick one in the UK. So let's go ahead and tap on servers followed by all servers. And I'm just going to scroll down to the United Kingdom. If you're outside the US and you want to watch Netflix, you're just going to do this tutorial kind of in reverse. You're just going to pick a server inside of the US. But because we're focused on planet Earth in today's video down below in the description, there will be a list of usable servers that do function and work when trying to watch planet Earth 2. Now for this video, I'm going to pick server number 52. That's UK server 52. And I'm just going to tap on that little on button to the right of it. Now we are connected. You can see we have the VPN badge up in the upper left hand corner. Let's just go ahead and get a quick close up of that. You can see to the right of the Wi Fi indicator, we are connected to the VPN currently. So now that we've done that, that's really all we have to do. We can actually watch planet Earth now. So let's go ahead and launch up Safari and let's go ahead and back all the way out. So let's go back to the main list here and tap on jungles just to ensure that we are reloading. And we're going to tap on watch now. And you will notice that it should work this time. Let's go ahead and tap on play. If it doesn't work for you, again, you need to back all the way out. And here you go. You can see that it did pick up from the last place I was watching it. We have Planet Earth 2 fully watchable now. Of course, we're not in the UK. We're essentially tricking it into thinking that we are in the UK. We're bypassing its region-based restrictions. So cool, some really awesome stuff. I definitely recommend utilizing a VPN for something similar to this or really anything else that you would need a VPN for. Like I said, the applications for one are practically endless. And if you try to watch Planet Earth 2 and you happen to get something pretty pesky asking you if you have a TV license, you just need to tap I have one and you should be able to watch it. If not, then just back all the way out to the main episode list again and try for a second time and you should be able to. It's a little bit finicky inside of a web browser, but it does work. And for the purpose of this video, you can see it does so quite well. We are fully watching it again here. Let's go ahead and back on out. Guys, that's really what I wanted to highlight in today's video. I've been meaning to do a video on the whole concept of VPNs for quite some time now. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section if you like this style of video. Of course, click that subscribe button below next to my channel name to be fully notified anytime I release new videos concerning things ranging from iOS to jailbreaking. And if you wanna be informed even more often, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.